So I honestly really love maths. It's one of my favorite things to learn. Like I did a degree in electrical engineering, which is one of the engineering degrees that require the most maths. So there was a lot of maths, a lot of hard maths, but I honestly loved it. I enjoyed it. I loved all my math subjects, but this was not always the case. In fact, there was some times in my past where I was consistently failing maths tests. I used to be the worst in the entire class. So what happened was when I was about 10, 11 years old, I think, you know, we were doing maths in class and my teachers, my parents would constantly tell me that I was naturally gifted at maths, that I was good at maths. But, you know, looking back, I don't know how they thought that because all we were doing in class was like counting blocks and like, you know, you know, those blocks with like a hundred wooden cubes or whatever. We were like counting them, you know, multiplying them. So I don't know how they thought I was gifted at maths. But anyway, you know, I started getting hooked on that validation. I started thinking like, damn, I'm, I'm the top G. I'm amazing at maths or whatever. And something happened. You know, a couple years passed by and I start noticing that the maths classes are starting to get a bit faster. And I'm starting to actually fall behind in maths. I'm starting to not understand what's going on in class. And I reached this point, I guess, age 13, 14, I'm not sure. I start to fail maths tests. So I reached this point where I'm failing maths tests and then I have to redo them. And honestly, I was failing them again. I got to this point where I was consistently failing every single test, redoing them, failing them again. And honestly, I was probably the worst student in the entire class in maths. So I went from this point where I was riding high, being told I was gifted at maths, amazing, which honestly was bullshit, to the point where I was failing maths tests in my class and I was doing horrible. And I reached the point where I gave up. I was like, okay, never mind, bro. I suck at maths. Maths is not for me. I'm done. I'm not going to try anymore. And then a couple years later, I go into GCSEs, IGCSEs, because I was in a school overseas in Indonesia. So IGCSEs uh, in my final four years of school. And I'm doing maths. And obviously, I'm terrible at it. I'm one of the worst in the class. But I kind of reached this realization. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to need maths for my other subjects. I'm going to need maths to get to a good university. I'm going to need maths for a good job. So I better start studying it. I better actually put in the effort to do well. So I start taking maths a bit seriously. I go home, I study, and I start doing practice questions. And bro, I get hooked. I start doing some practice questions, and I start noticing I'm getting them right. And then I start to realize something. I start to realize, wait a minute, I can do maths. I can get good at maths. Maths is something I can learn. Then a couple months later, we have an exam and I end up doing the best in the entire class. So I go from literally failing every single test in maths to doing the best in the entire class. And, you know, I end up finishing IGCSEs with an A star. I end up doing pretty well. And then after that, I get the option to do in my final two years to do what's called the IB program, the International Baccalaureate program. And this is class called high level maths which is notoriously known as the hardest subject in the entire, in the entire diploma. And I do it. And I end up doing pretty well. I get like a six out of seven, which is, you know, not the best mark, but pretty good. But what I'm trying to tell you here is you can be someone who sucks at maths. You can be someone who's terrible at maths. Like I know I told you that my teachers told me I was gifted, but apparently this is a very common thing that teachers just tell people just to hype them up. You know, I'm definitely not gifted at maths. If anything, I'm average. But I just cultivated and learned my ability to not only get decent at maths, but to actually fall in love with it. Because maths is, is not only is it useful in the real world, people will tell you it's not useful, but it is, especially like statistics and probability and stuff. But also maths is just this beautiful abstract world that you can learn all about. It's like a whole nother universe, you know, like learning about the Star Wars universe or something. Maths is like this abstract, beautiful world that you can learn about. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to start getting decent at maths and how to cultivate your love for it because I think everyone can cultivate their love for it because here's the thing. You might think you suck at maths. You might think you're bad at it. You might think you don't have the maths gene. And look, genetics don't matter at all. If you want to be one of the top mathematicians, you know, Terence Tao, you know, Gauss, you know, Euler, all these top mathematicians, yeah, you probably do need some kind of gene inside you that, you know, makes you obsessed or some gene that makes you naturally able to see numbers and stuff. But if you're just trying to do well in like high school maths or university level maths, you don't need to be amazing. You just need to put in the work. Anyone can do it. Anyone can get decent at maths. You probably, the, re the thing is, 
You might think you suck at maths, but the reason you think that is because of something that happened in your past. Maybe sometime in your past, your teacher told you you were bad at maths and you carried that belief for the rest of your life. Or maybe when you were young, you, like me, you started failing maths tests and it created this negative feedback loop that made you constantly suck at maths and constantly fail tests or something. Because every child is born with a natural curiosity towards maths. Every child loves maths. Like, like my brother, when he was like five years old, a couple years ago, he was constantly counting. He loved counting. He loved, you know, ideas of maths. So everyone is born loving maths, being naturally curious about it. But then we, the problem is we enter the school system where they start testing us on maths. They take away this natural curiosity we have and they start testing us. They start making maths this thing that we get tested on that we have to do well in. So we start to hate it. We start seeing, we start associating maths with like stress, with exams, with needing to do well, with needing validation. So we start to hate maths. So the first step I can tell you in this video is you need to rewire your brain to realize that you're not bad at maths. It's just the fault of the school system that made you hate it. In fact, you can cultivate your love for it. And in fact, you can get good at maths. Here's how you can start enjoying maths pretty much immediately. So basically, you know, why, why are video games so fun? Why do people love video games? And the reason is because you get instantly rewarded. You know, you jump out into the battlefield and you kill three guys, you know, triple kill. And then you get the triple kill, then you get a power up, then you blow up five enemies and you get a power up. Then you get, you know, fucking, you know, like a care package, you know, AC-130 inbound. You know, you get all these, like there's a bunch of like rewards flying at you everywhere. You know, <laughs> you know, you get constantly rewarded. Rewards are flying at you. There's like dopamine everywhere. So the answer to how to get, how to make maths more enjoyable is to develop this instant reward system. You want to be rewarded as quickly as possible. So the way to do this is to start doing practice questions. As early as possible, you want to start doing like exam questions and practice questions to start getting decent at maths. I mean, to start enjoying maths. Because if you get a practice question correct, you get like a hit of dopamine and it makes you want to do more questions. And the more questions you do, the more you develop this like positive feedback loop that makes you enjoy it more and more and more. Like for me, my favorite time of the semester was always exam season because I could spam exam papers. Like I really enjoyed doing maths past papers because it was like solving problems. Every time I got it correct, it was so rewarding. It was like getting a triple kill in a video game every time I got a question correct. So that's the next step I can tell you to start instantly enjoying maths. Jump into practice questions as soon as possible. You don't even need to finish an entire topic before you can start doing practice questions. Because the problem is students try to study their whole curriculum before they start jumping into practice questions. Instead, you should do it the other way around. You should start doing practice questions as soon as possible, not only because it helps you solidify what you've learned, but you start developing that, developing that positive feedback loop that actually makes you start enjoying maths right away because you're developing this instant reward system. And then when you do practice questions, you actually start realizing maths is actually fun. It's not this like, oh, my brain hurty type of thing where you're like crunching numbers and stuff. It's actually like problem solving. It's like doing trivia. It's like answering fun questions. Maths is actually fun when you do practice questions. So that's, that's what you need to do. You need to jump into practice questions. So the first step to actually start to love maths is you need to start getting good at it. I know this sounds obvious, but maths is 100% just about practice, putting in the practice, doing practice questions, learning maths, repetitions, repetitions. Imagine you're good at maths. Imagine you were confident and actually pretty decent at maths. The love for it would naturally follow. So people are trying to find love for something and taking so instead of trying to fall in love with maths and then getting good at it why not get good at maths then you will fall in love with it i know this sounds weird but you know if you do something uncomfortable over and over and over again eventually you realize it wasn't as bad as you thought so first develop the confidence and then the love will follow like for example recently i've been learning uh, salsa dancing my friend has been teaching me so basically when i first started doing like salsa dancing latin dancing I hated it. I was like, damn, this is so hard. This is so boring. I don't like this. But after doing it for a couple of months, I started getting okay at it. I started getting the hang of it. And I started actually enjoying it a lot because I started building the confidence in it. So same thing with maths. If you build the confidence in it, the love will naturally follow. And the final thing I'll mention here about to actually start how to start to enjoy and fall in love with maths. You need to start seeing yourself as someone who is naturally curious at maths 
Start seeing yourself as like a mathematician, someone who has a genuine curiosity for maths. So the first tip I told you was to destroy your limiting beliefs when it comes to maths and believing that you can actually do it. Now this step is actually about cultivating your love for it and seeing the beauty in mathematics. So personally how I do this is like I said, do practice questions, just take your time with maths, actually you know, spend some time with it, understand the concepts from the bottom up. Because the problem is, you know, when you start falling behind in maths class, you go from like learning the actual maths, learning how everything works, you start memorizing things, you start memorizing formulas, you start memorizing concepts. And that's when maths becomes boring because you're just memorizing stuff, you're just crunching numbers. But if you actually understand things from the bottom up and see the beauty and see where things come from in maths, you start to see it as this beautiful abstract world that it is. So another way to cultivate this is to take a curiosity of maths outside of class. So what I personally did was I would like read about maths online. I would watch YouTube videos on maths, you know. There's a bunch of YouTube channels you can watch about maths like Veritasium, Three Brown, One Blue, uh, Number File, all these maths channels. Start taking a curiosity in maths, start learning about how maths is actually interesting, how there's like a lot of mind blowing things in maths. Like learn about these crazy mind blowing concepts in maths and you'll start to realize that maths is actually really cool. It's like this abstract world that you can play with, you know, start seeing yourself as a mathematician. Start actually like enjoying it and being curious about it outside of class. I'm not saying you have to go like read the hardest maths papers or whatever, but just kind of learn generally what's going on in maths. Start learning about some interesting maths theories. Follow your natural curiosities. And like when you're learning stuff in class, take those concepts and search them up onto YouTube and see other perspectives on the same concept. Learn through YouTube, you know, use YouTube, use the internet to learn about maths. So a big part of it is stop seeing maths through this anxious kind of like negative mindset and start seeing it from a positive thing. Start seeing it as enjoyable. Start seeing it as not difficult. Start seeing it as not painful to your brain. <laughs> so you need to rewire your brain. You need to spend the time doing maths. You need to practice and just learn to enjoy it. It's that simple. And you, I promise you, you will start to enjoy maths and you will actually start to get good at it. And when you start getting good at something, like I said earlier, you start to love it. So bro, go do some maths. See you later.